The U.S. and U.K. governments are discussing allowing Ukraine to deploy British cruise missiles backed by U.S. navigation data to launch long-range strikes on Russian territory, Bloomberg sources say. The issue is part of conversations that have taken place over the past few days as U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has held talks in London and Kyiv, the sources said. The U.S. and Britain have signaled this week that they are open to Ukraine's request to strengthen its ability to strike deep into Russia. As Kyiv pushes for more powerful Western weapons to hit military targets inside Russia, officials have been talking about whether the White House might give Ukraine permission to use British Storm Shadow missiles for cross-border attacks, the sources said. Storm Shadows fly close to the ground at high speed before reaching their targets, using a system that combines so-called inertial navigation with a global positioning system and terrain-following navigation, according to a fact sheet on the website of their manufacturer, MBDA. The GPS satellite navigation system is operated by the Pentagon, although it is also used for public purposes such as online driving directions. When used in complex operations, Storm Shadow missiles often rely on US-provided data to help them map terrain with a high degree of accuracy, according to people familiar with the matter who spoke on condition of anonymity. The Pentagon maintains close and ongoing dialogue with our allies, including the United Kingdom, to ensure that any coordination of military capabilities is consistent with our shared objectives and international law, spokesman Charles Dietz said. Storm shadows have already proven to be a highly effective weapon for Ukraine, accurately hitting well-defended targets in Russian-occupied territory, according to military analyst and former British Army officer Justin Crump. It is not surprising that Kyiv lobbied for their use on Russian territory, especially for targeting airfields used for glide bomb attacks, he said. He is confident that despite the measures taken by Moscow, strikes with the said missiles will make it difficult to provide military logistics, command and control, as well as air support. And even if Russian aircraft move further away from Ukraine's border to avoid the missile threat, they will still incur increased time and costs for each sortie to the front line. Matthew Saville, director of military science at the Rusi think tank, believes that lifting restrictions on long-range missile strikes on Russian territory will put Russia in a dilemma. Where to deploy its precious air defense assets, which in turn will make it easier for Ukrainian drones to pass through. He does not believe that Storm Shadow will turn the tide. A part of the Corolla Bridge, one of four crossing the Elba River in downtown Dresden, has partially collapsed. The pedestrian and cycle path, as well as the local tram tracks have been affected, according to the Dresden Fire Department. There is an acute danger to life on and under the bridge. For this reason, the entire area has been cordoned off, Michael Klar, 
spokesperson for the Dresden Fire Department, said. He said the 100-meter long bridge is still in danger of further collapse and two district heating pipes were damaged, causing the hot water supply to completely stop in the eastern city of Dresden.